Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to TMXing Adventures. My name is Lisa Keegan, and uh, this week is all about manual making in your Thermomix. So whether you've got a TM6, a TM5, TM31, TM21, Thermo something else, uh, this is for you this week. So do come on and say hi. Uh, if you know what you're having for dinner, let's inspire each other. And I'm gonna crack right on today because I'm gonna make a juice for the kids. It is stinking hot today, it is 31 degrees. We have been chasing the water all day and uh, they are thirsty, they are a bit tired. Uh, you know when you've been out all day and they're a bit worn out. Um, but anyway, I need to get them through to dinner. So they're actually having, just if you're looking for inspiration, they are having the salami fettuccine tonight. No salami, gluten-free pasta. Uh, probably some ham. I think I've got some ham in the freezer still. So that's what they'll be having for dinner tonight. Hubby and I are going to get salmon because we found a, somebody who can give us some salmon. So that's pretty cool. So uh, let's get started with juicing in your Thermomix. Now this is fantastic. If you're one of these people who once upon a time you go past in the supermarket, the the juice bar and you'd buy a tropical juice this is for you because it will save you a fortune especially at this time of year where we've got such an abundance of beautiful fruit so i'm going to show you today this is going to serve four uh probably could do six if you made it a bit thinner but i'm going to tell you how to make it today i'll give you the weights so you can do it yourself and as i said this is not guided this is manual so come along and see how to do it it is three ingredients so super easy as well. So let's wipe sideways, let's bring up the scales. Those of you with Thermomixers or other things you know how to weigh, so I don't need to show you that. Um, all right, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in the cheeks of two mangoes. So don't put in the little skinny bits, okay? You know what I'm saying by cheeks? The big bits on the side. The reason we don't put the little two bits in on either side, they have huskiness in it. When we cut them off, they've actually got fibers and you, somebody will be unlucky and get the fibers. So leave those bits out. Just eat them as a treat to yourself. So we're gonna put into the Thermomix the uh, edges, the cheeks from two mango, uh, from one mango, sorry, one mango. I did them with a spoon. You can get them off really easy with a spoon or the side of a glass. One day I'll show you that trick with a glass. Mine just came off in two portions. So as much as it looks like it was two mangoes, it was just one, okay? Cheeks off one mango. Okay, so it's about 100 grams of mango. Then you want some banana, okay? This gives substance, it keeps the kids fuller longer. You could put in a handful of oats, although I think bananas, they're good in so many ways. There's so much good stuff in, in bananas. So I've got lady fingers off our tree out the back. I'll tell you how much. You might put in just two large ones. I've got three little ones. And that's gonna be about 200 grams. Last thing is some pineapple. This obviously makes it tropical. So the tropical pineapple, now do not take the core out. It is full of some really good nutrients. It's dense in nutrients. So don't get rid of the core. Uh, obviously take the skin off though. Um, and I use half a small pineapple, all right? You could use tinned pineapple, but um, we've got fresh at the moment from the farms around here. So in that goes, let's put that in. And it looks like it's gonna be about 200 grams as well. So I guess, yeah, it's 250. So we've got 100 grams of um, mango. They weren't great, weren't huge mangoes. Um, 200 grams of banana and 250 of pineapple. So that's pretty much all you need for tropical flavor. The thing that I do like to add is some coconut cream. I was shaking this earlier. Make sure you give your cans a good shake beforehand. By the way, just a little tip. Don't buy coconut milk. Coconut milk is just watered down cream and they usually charge you the same price. So you might as well buy the cream and add the water to make it milk yourself, okay? You can also make it from desiccated coconut. Obviously, there's a bit of straining involved to get rid of the fibers, but that's another option as well. So I'm just going to put in probably half a tin, so probably about 100 odd grams. I kind of make this up as I go along, but it is beautiful. Let's have a look. Let's go 150 grams. Okay, 185, why not? And then last up, some ice. Ice is important in your juices. It actually breaks the fibers down on your fruit. So you do wanna make sure um, <clears throat> you put in your ice. It also keeps chilled and cold, but more, the most important thing it's actually doing is making it smooth. For those of you who might've made hummus at some stage, um, if you ever put ice cube into your hummus, it actually breaks it down to a silky smooth paste, all right? 
So let's put some uh, ice into it. I normally just put a couple of handfuls. So I don't really weigh it, but I'll weigh it for you guys today. So let's see. So 185, I don't know that I can get these other ones off the bottom, they're frozen. That'll do. And now we're going to do this manually, as I said. Now I could use my blend feature. The beauty of a blend feature on the TM6 is that it takes the guesswork out of blending and it protects your blades. Now this is where our blades can often get, uh, their lives can be shortened because blending is one of these things that if it's not consistent texture inside, the Thermomix has a lot, well not, it doesn't have a lot of trouble, it will do it, but it's kind of like hitting potholes as I accelerate off an intersection. Okay, I put my foot down and I'm going, I don't know, out of the traffic lights and then I hit potholes and I go dunk, -a dunk, -a dunk, -a dunk, -a dunk, right? That's what our blade, our bearings in our blade are doing as it hits the various different fruits that are different textures in there. So if you're on a TM31, a TM5, or even some other brand of thermo cooker, go slow, okay? Go up to speed. Don't just go, woohoo, speed eight and off we go, or speed 10 and off we go. Go gradually because it gives it a chance to smooth it out on the way up so it's not hitting those potholes with speed and doing those bearings inside, uh, making them wear quickly. I hope that makes sense. So I'm gonna, you're gonna see me today, I'm gonna start at speed four, and then you'll see me go five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to give it 30 seconds, have a look at the texture. Usually 30 seconds is enough. It depends on your ice cubes though. I've got big Tupperware ice cubes because our ice maker's out of action at the moment. If you've got like an ice bag, that's less time again because the ice is hollow. Hello Anne, lovely to have you on today. So, by the way, those of you TM6, you could just use your blend feature. It is there on the screen. It does that automatically for you. It accelerates gradually. So let's just come to our home screen, 30 seconds, and then I'm gonna show you the final product. I will walk off and get a glass in this time because I forgot to grab one beforehand. So up to speed four, and then we'll go a bit higher. I didn't put the timer on 30 seconds, I let it count up. I could have alternatively put it on 30 and let it count down and it would have stopped itself, jingled at me. For those of you who aren't familiar with the Thermomix. That should be done, I'm gonna check it out in a second. But just a little recap, we've put in 100 grams of um, beautiful mango, 200 grams of banana, 250 grams of pineapple, um, 180 grams I think it was of ice and 150 grams of coconut cream, which you could just do, um, cream in there if you wanted as well. We kept it dairy free. Uh, and I gave you some substitutions there about oats and things like that instead of, you got, instead of bananas. Now let's have a look. I now have one litre, yes, one litre. It's a fair amount of this beautiful looking juice. Let's look at this. Let me come closer and let me pour this in for you. Look at that. Smooth as, looks fairly smooth to me. Maybe it could have gone a bit longer. I can see a little bit of coconut there, but look at that. Beautiful. And that's it, that is how you do a tropical juice in your Thermomix in less than a minute with the real ingredients, knowing exactly what's in your food. So that's pretty cool and pretty easy. There are a lot of tips here today about protecting your blades. So make sure if you're watching replays, do hashtag replay so I know that you're finding value in these videos. Um, but also watch those for your tips on how to look after your blades and keep them longer without having to replace them. It's the only part on your Thermomix that you need to replace over time, a bit like your tires on your car. All right, you can't drive your car around town years on end and expect not to have to fix your tires or get new tires, not fix them. Anyway, guys, that's it for me this afternoon. Have a fantastic rest of your day. I look forward to seeing you the rest of this week for some more manual tips for your thermo mixing. Uh, please let me know if I can be of assistance to you or anyone you know regarding a thermo mix, either getting one on a bench or getting more out of an existing thermo mix if they own one already. We do have an offer on at the moment of a travel bag and a cookbook for $29 when you get a thermo mix on the bench. 
So if you're thinking about getting one, it's a great time too because really once you've got a Thermomix in your life, you will be wanting to take it with you on your holidays, on your camping trips, all those sorts of things because it just makes creating amazing food so easy and simple. But otherwise guys, take care, have a great afternoon. Let us know your favorite juice combos and remember hashtag replay if you've enjoyed the replay today and I will see you tomorrow afternoon for some more cooking. So bye for now guys.